In this video, we will discuss about the production versions now mandatory in the S4 HANA system in the manufacturing processes and especially in the PP module. There are several applications in Fiori that allow you to manage the production versions. We are here in the SAP Fiori interface. We will use the search bar here in order to look for the applications available for monitoring and managing the production version apps. So here in the search, I will enter production version and I will press enter. So you can see here display on the screen all the Fury applications on which you can have in the title or in the description of the application the characters production version. We can see here an application which is the same as the SAP transaction code C223. So if we start this application, you can see that this is exactly the same as the SAP GI transaction code. Indeed, you have here on the top the selection co conditions such as the plant, the material, the MRP controller and all, all over filtering fields. And here you have the production versions table on which you will be able to find all the production versions available for your material. So it's quite similar as the GI transaction code. But here, for sure, you have the look and feel of Fury. In an overhand, we will discuss about the dedicated Fury apps to manage the production versions. The Fury application we will detail in this video is the Fury application manage production versions right here. So we are here in the SAP Fiori Reference Apps Library. We can see here all the details and all the features, information, technical and functional about specific Fiori applications. So this is the application dedicated for managing the production versions and this is especially designed for the Fiori interface. So you can see that this application is available since the SAP S4 HANA version 1709. Here you can see all the information about the application, such as the application type. This is a transactional data. You can see here the app ID. So this means that this is an entire and dedicated Fury application. For sure here, you have in the first tab the product features with a list of all the key features. You have here also a screenshot about the application. In the implementation information, you can see here the installation grid, the configuration of the tool, how to activate the ICF nodes and also the OData services, which are the roles, the SAP roles required to execute and be able to use this specific Fury application and so on. We are back in the Fury interface. The application in question is the following here, manage production versions. Let's access it. And like in every Fury application for the transactional purpose, you have on the top of the screen, the selection conditions. So these are the fields on which you can filter to find the appropriate data you would like to see in the system. So for example, here in our case, we will use the material field in order to display the production versions already available in the system for our project glass jar N99. You also have a lot of fields, additional ones, such as the plant, directly the production version number, the MRP controller, and so on. If you would like to add new fields, you can press adopt filters and in this pop-up, 
you could also from several overviews add more filters i will press cancel if you would like to have a bigger screen for the result table you can also minimize here the filtering area then once uh, the information entered in the selection field you can press the button go and on the bottom of the view you can see the result table so we can see now that for our material glass jar n98 we have two production versions production version number one and production version number two so this is the current layout with several columns already configured such as the material the plant the production version the status the mrp controller and so on but if required you can in this button configuration or view settings change uh, the order of the columns you can add new column or delete and hide some of these columns you can also use the sort feature and also the group one it is like a layout in the asap GUI uh, software so this is the main application to manage the production version which is dedicated to the fury interface purpose you can from this application create also a new production version by clicking on this button you can also access it if we double click on the first one for example so these are all the details of the production version in question so with the validity start date and end date um, all the information about the routing group the group control and also the bomb usage and so on you can also from this view edit the production version so to make changes about this production version and for sure you can also display all the information of these production versions